In the first question, Alex had graphed f of x and then he graphed g of x and we wanted to figure out well what happened from f of x to g of x. So let's go ahead and graph the first function. I'm going to add in a new document with a graph page and I'm going to go ahead and enter that in. Hit enter. So there's the first function, right? All good. I hit tab and then I enter in my next one. So let's see, um, we had the red one first, that was f of x, and then the second one was uh, g of x, and from the red one to the green one, it looks like it kind of like squished together a little bit. Um, as x's were increasing, um, the red one was, was going up, right? Well then, for the green one, as our x's are increasing, it goes up, and then all of a sudden it increases a lot faster. Well what visually happened, you could say that maybe um, the rate at which uh, the green function in g of x is it's increasing faster over time, uh, or you could also say that it's squished together horizontally, or what we call that is a uh, horizontal compression. So it moves together closer to the, the y-axis here. Now let's get rid of these. I'm going to hit delete, delete, delete. Uh, three times there to get rid of those and I'm going to enter in my uh, next function for the problem with Gabby. So Gabby graphed uh, h of x. There's that graph. I'm going to hit tab again uh, and then all of a sudden she graphed k of x. There's that one. So she's got the blue one which was h of x. That was the first one. And then this uh, pinkish um, is k of x. That was our second one. So what happened from the blue one to the second one? Well, um, first of all, uh, this blue one was increasing. So as x's got bigger, they, um, the y's got bigger as well. So it was increasing. And then uh, the second one, k of x, well, it looks like it flipped around a little bit. Um, as x's are increasing, now the y's are decreasing. So you could say that the function went from increasing and now it's decreasing, but it also kind of like um, it's stretched out a little bit horizontally, right? Uh, the blue one, when it started to increase, it went up really quickly, right? Well, uh, as this pink one decreases, it kind of decreases a little bit slower than this one increases. So what you could call that is a, um, a horizontal stretch. So um, the, the rate at which it changes is spread out um, farther. Now, um, I know that can sound a little bit confusing because these two are, you know, well, one's increasing, one's decreasing. So I'm going to hit tab and I'm going to manipulate the second function. So instead of it being 0.75 to the x power, I'm going to change it to 1.75 and that'll flip it around a little bit. So now my pink function here is uh, increasing just like the blue one, but you can see what that horizontal stretch is more like. Um, as we move from our left to my right, as our, all the x values are increasing, the blue one goes up pretty quick, right? Well, now this pink one, it's increasing as well, but um, it's stretched out horizontally, and it doesn't increase as quick as, as the blue one did. So that's the horizontal stretch that I'm referring to.